What's going on, YouTube? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into our channel. I'm Ty. I'm Katie. Take it up travel. travel. And today we're checking out some British foods. Now, this was a video that was suggested to us, yes, so thank yes. you so much. Yes, thank you. Uh, this is top 10 British foods that confuse the rest of the world. All right. So I can probably I'm, guarantee you I'm, we're probably going to be confused <laughs> Wait, as it's well. starting to play. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be some stuff we've never seen yeah. before. Now, the only thing I know, I mean, I don't know a ton of British foods, but I know like, okay, fish and chips, we have that here. That, yeah. that, that doesn't really confuse the rest of the world. But I read that they eat beans for breakfast. Really? Yeah. Hmm, that sounds good. Yeah. But they're not like refried beans. They're like orange beans. I don't know what baked kind beans? they are. <laughs> no, they didn't look like baked beans. They're like orangey and soupy. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm, Maybe sounds, that'll be in here. Hmm, sounds good to me. Yeah. So let's get into it. Okay. If, but before we do, if it's your first time uh, checking out our channel, discovering us, give us a quick subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. Hit the notification bell. We come out with videos every single day. Yeah, we do. And leave us a comment. Leave us a suggestion. <laughs> yeah. All that good stuff. All right, let's get it. All right, here we go. I'm ready for this. Enough chit chat. Ready to be. These dishes really do give taught. food for thought. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top mm, ten British foods that confuse the rest of the world. Yeah, looks Before good. we begin, we publish new content every day, so hey, be sure to I subscribe to our channel <laughs> yeah. and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Ding ding. ding. For this list, we're looking at British oh. foods that baffle foreign great. visitors, either because their names are misleading like or because cake. their ingredients are so unusual, it's a wonder anyone would choose to eat them. Is that a potato? Number 10, I don't know. Scotch eggs. I don't think I should Scotch have eaten that Scotch egg. Is that that egg with the sausage wrapped around it? Never mind, not important. This popular British snack consists of a hard-boiled egg enclosed in sausage meat and breadcrumbs. London's Fortnum and Mason department store supposedly invented them in 1738, although other sources claim they originated in Yorkshire. The earliest recipe for Scotch eggs, at least in print, I bet that would be really good. Yeah. Nine, which recommended they be served hot with gravy, though they can equally be eaten cold as a picnic food. The taste Gordon of Scotch Ramsey. eggs can vary depending on where you Scotch eat them as well, eggs, with that's different UK called? regions yeah. using their own local sausages in the dish. Michael, would you like a <laughs> miniature Scotch egg? Oh, not for me, pet. I've got myself a steak and kidney pie. Number nine, deep fried <laughs> Mars bars. This nation's deep fried world Mars television. bar. The steam engine, golf, whiskey, Penicillin, and of course, the deep fried Mars bar. You'll find many unusual foods on a British chip shop menu, from curry sauce to mushy peas, but surely none is stranger than a deep fried Mars bar. These calorie laden snacks are made by dipping a chilled Mars bar into the batter normally used. Is that like a deep fried Twix? Or like isn't a deep fattening enough on its own? I don't right? know, like a the candy snack bar? was apparently invented yeah, as a novelty so. item in the Haven chip bar in Scotland before growing Whoa. in popularity. What will people think of frying next? Pizza? <laughs> oh no, oh, wait, gosh. they've already done that. In Glasgow, perhaps the least healthy food ever sold is the deep fried pork sausage kebab. Number eight, black pudding. It might have pudding black in the pudding. name, but most people will be disappointed if they got served this Whoa. for dessert. This sausage is typically made from a mixture of congealed pig's blood, lard, oh, and oatmeal, okay. and is usually eaten fried on toast <laughs> or as part of a Yeah, that, that confuses me. <laughs> Lemon cheesecake, it is not. Black pudding is most likely to have originated from times of hardship, when butchers so would use sweet? every last part of an animal for food. And whilst <laughs> it might not know. be to everyone's taste, it was acclaimed as a superfood in 2016. Really? Number seven, Ooh. mince pies. Originally, oh, these short that. crust pastry yeah. pies were made with real mincemeat, but nowadays the filling is a mixture of dried fruit, peel, and the type of animal fat called suet. Eaten Fruit at Christmas, the pies are commonly spiced with cinnamon, meat? cloves, and nutmeg to represent the gifts presented to Jesus by the three hmm. wise men. Visitors to the UK are often put they off look like by little this quiches. name. Yeah. That's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? It just means that there's more left for the rest of us. Mince pie, anyone? Number hmm. six, bubble and squeak. <laughs> bubble, and <laughs> bubble and squeak. <laughs> squeak. It's piping hot. This traditionally British dish is typically made from the leftovers of the equally traditional Sunday roast. Potatoes and cabbage are its core ingredients, but other vegetables can be added, such as carrots and Brussels sprouts. The possibilities are pretty much endless here. The potatoes are mashed into the cooked cabbage, then fried in a pan and eaten hot. The name bubble and squeak is said to come from the sound the ingredients make while they are cooking in the pan, and mm. not from the effect they have on the diner's stomach when they reach it. Number five, toad in the hole. 
Yorkshire pudding, a Total humble enough. batter made from eggs, flour and milk or water, was voted the top British regional dish in 2016, beating Cornish pasties and scones and cream. Or is that scones? But toad in the hole only increases the delicious factor by adding sausages to the dish. As for the origins of its admittedly pretty left field name, some people suggest that frogs were once included in the dish, and frogs? others that the finished meal no looks way. a bit like toad submerged in mud. And honestly, <laughs> that could be more appetizing than that. I was that. thinking it'd Just be like a pig in a blanket. No, but sausage in the hole sounds fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, steak and kidney pie. Steak Ugh. in a pie? Sounds great. The kidneys, though, take a bit more explaining. Of course, kidney offal pie. is hardly unique to Britain. Kidney beans. When you consider, though, that the function kidney. of an animal's kidney, kidney is to produce oh. urine, it makes it particularly hard to see why anyone would spoil a steak pie by adding them into it. In Victorian times, oysters were used instead to bulk out the pie, but when shellfish mm. prices rose, kidneys took their place. And surprisingly, the pies are still hugely popular in Britain. Wow, at least that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Steak I don't know if I'd have a kidney pie. <laughs> Steak and kidney pie. Number three, spotted <laughs> dick. That? Britain has more than its fair share of unusual desserts, with bread and butter pudding providing a particularly perfect example. But nothing raises eyebrows quite like the sweet suet wow. pudding known as spotted dick. The spotted part <laughs> of the name comes from the dried fruit added to the dish, but the dick part is more of a mystery, and it is hard to think yeah. of a more off-putting name for an after-dinner <laughs> treat. Yeah. Yeah. Going to this in 2018, the dessert was reportedly renamed Spotted Richard in the Houses of Commons restaurant to spare That's dining so lushes. funny. That looks nothing like my spotted dick. Uh, right. <laughs> Number two, haggis. The national dish of Scotland, this savoury oh, pudding haggis, is made from the that. mixed really? heart, liver, and yeah. lungs of a sheep, together okay. with oatmeal and <laughs> suet. Liver and lungs it used of to be a sheep? boiled in the sheep's own stomach, but nowadays it is usually cooked in an artificial casing instead. It may look like something created for a dare, yet fans of the dish compare its taste to peppery meatloaf. Americans hmm, really? in particular seem confused by this food. With a 2003 survey, I thought it would probably be good, but it just sounds gross. Haggis a kind yeah. of animal. No, no, go easy on the wee one. His father's gonna go crazy and chop them all into haggis. What's haggis? <laughs> Boy, you read my thoughts. <laughs> Number one, beans on toast. This That's classic dish oh, is yeah. arguably the See, nation's like favourite, with Brits getting like, through a soupy beans. 2 million tins of beans every single day. Baked beans are also often eaten as part of a fry-up or on jacket potatoes, but in the hearts of the great British public, nothing beats simply adding them to toast. Or really? if you're feeling particularly adventurous, you could always grate a little cheese on top. Considering the meal's simplicity, it's fair to say that most non-Brits struggle to understand the reason for its immeasurable popularity. Yeah. Do you agree with oh, yeah. that, Check out these other great clips from watching my Interesting. Movie. For a breakfast? Yeah, beans on toast. I would never think of that for a breakfast. I'd try it. I wouldn't think yeah, of it. Yeah, I would try it. <laughs> mm, but the beans look so different. They looked so red and soupy. Yeah, they did. Mm, interesting. Wow. Sweet. There were some uh, interesting there were some shocking stuff in there. Ones. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely some ones that looked great. Definitely some, some things that were that questionable. Didn't, like this black pudding. Yeah, I don't know I about don't the haggis. I don't know about that. Bubble and squeak. Not bad. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Toad in a hole. I don't know about that. Is that good? I don't know. Let yeah. us know if you are from the UK, you have had some of these meals. How are they? What's the worst one? What's the best one from this video? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if it's your first time coming across our channel and checking out one of our videos, please give us a quick subscribe. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date because we come out with videos every, every single, single day. day. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See ya.